Well, folks, <clears throat> guess what? I've chosen to do a part three to this video. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm out here amidst all this beauty and I just can't help sharing it, you know. I mean, uh, all these great shapes of the pines. It's just, just incredible. And what a nice day. I don't know, it's wherever I turn, it's gorgeous. Let's see what I was saying about how many cones are on the trees. Can you see those? It's just amazing. These short leaves, thousands and thousands of cones. I don't know if that's normal every year or what, but definitely this year. Now right here I must be standing underneath a pitch pine because there's plenty of pitch pine cones on the ground. Yeah, that, that one right there, I guess. Because there's a couple of cones. Now see how all this reindeer lichen grows? It's like hundreds and hundreds of square feet of it. And right now, it's dry, it's dry and crumbly under my feet. See these large, large mounds of it. Now I'm, I'm try, trying not to ruin it. I'm walking where there's you know, bare ground or whatever. But, uh, large areas of the Pine Barrens are covered with it. Uh, you typically don't see the reindeer lichen on vertical surfaces. It's typically on the uh, horizontal surfaces right on the sand or sometimes on other things. The heather grows everywhere. Yeah, that's got to be the Pine Barrens heather. But I think there's some sea beach heather here too. In fact there might be a lot of it. But see how much heather there is? These desert-like areas are really special. Now here's a obvious pitch pine. This little guy right here. There's a there's a sassafras right there. That little deciduous tree right in front of us. I can't get near the flowers or whatever. I think they're the flowers. Yeah. Can't get close enough. Right. Now this moss here you may or may not be able to see it. It's got the, um, the spore stalks up. Here's mole tunnels. See the mole tunnels? Look at the pure, 
pure sugar sand. And here's these unidentified lichen something or other, whatever they are. I've never been able to figure out what they are. Here's one. There's two of them here. One of them's got a pine tree seedling in the middle of it. How about that? The Mullica River is over there in that direction. See, so we're sticking to a very small area, but I don't get tired of looking around. Just look at this. And now you can hear the wind blowing through the pine trees. Beautiful sound. People, the people that had uh, beached their canoe earlier must have been to eat lunch or something, and they're, they're gone. Here's a shortleaf pine where I can show you the cones up close. They don't get much bigger than this. The needles are quite short, although they do get a little longer than that. I still want to do a video or a slideshow showing the uh, comparing the the uh, short leaf versus the pitch pine versus. Virginia pine. See, here's that branch we looked at earlier. At the base of this beautiful pitch pine right here. See, there's a sassafras there. Now, I had uh, I had placed the camera on the bed rail of my truck or on the toolbox and walked into the view but I realized when I watched it afterwards that I walked too far away. I'm going to try that again. Before the video runs out See, there's the Mullica River again. Oops, I didn't realize I had the camera up in the air. Let's see, what direction is that? Okay, the tide's going out. So the river's flowing in the correct direction at the moment. There's Atlantic white cedars all along the river. Anyway. Somebody's been spinning their tires back here, making a mess. I'm going to try it over here. I'm going to walk into the view. Haircut. 
I just can't get over the beauty back here. I know John will love it. Too bad. I gotta get Shane to watch some of these videos. Ooh, we're over 10 minutes. Okay, I gotta end this. I'll end it with a view of that pitch pine right there that's pretty young. So, I don't think I'm gonna make a part four, but who knows.